What is up guys and welcome back here to the Utah Utes NCAA Football 15-14 Dynasty, whatever you want to call it. But nonetheless, here today, the Utes have got a big test here against the Stanford Cardinals. Stanford recently dropped out of the top 25 as we look here at the top 25. Ohio State leads Texas, Oklahoma, LSU, Florida, Wisconsin, UCLA, Oregon. North Carolina, Florida State, Miami, Clemson, Notre Dame, Nebraska, USC, T TCU, Auburn, Alabama, then us, BYU, Texas A&M, and then, of course, others. But as we look here, Stanford was number 21, then they dropped out after a loss. And we're going to Stanford this time. Last time, we have some bad memories from this Stanford team. We remember Barry Sanders Jr., 219 yards, five touchdowns, and an overall dominating performance by this Offense by Stanford, which we try to model ourselves after. Even their defense, we try to model ourselves after. I mean, stopping the run and using the run. That's what we do, and that's what Stanford does. So, two very evenly matched teams. So, I guess we'll get this game right underway here as Stanford will kick it deep. Wesley Johnson is back to return this one. He's been electric this season, and now he tries to bring this one out. Now, nah, past the 20, taken down about the 25 yard line. And now, here comes this Ute offense. Behind Kendall Thompson, this quarterback for the Utes. The senior gives it to another senior. Dravion Young here gets the handoff, and he gets a solid gain of 13 here. So now here's Kendall Thompson in the backfield. He's dropping back to fast. The lefty, he's looking. He throws, and that one's intercepted. Conrad Palmer snags that one right out of the air, and Stanford, just like that, gets the ball right after the kickoff. Poor throw decision that time by Kendall Thompson. Tried to do too much. So now here's McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey getting the handoff there. So now back in the backfield, it's Chris. And Chris back to throw. He's going to throw that one. And he launched that one, but it was incomplete. So we got lucky there. Keller Chris now dropping back to throw again. He's looking. This time he's going to throw it, and he's got it to Schultz. But Schultz gets tripped up that time by Monte Seabrook. And now they'll just try to kick the field goal, and they will take the three points. So Stanford leads this one 3 nothing. So now after Kendall Thompson seems to be a little bit injured up on the previous play, uh, Manning will come into the game for a little bit. The run there to Adrian Anderson gets the first down. Now the one Adrian, uh, not Adrian, Travion Young on the handoff that time. They get mixed up because they just, they get it, they go in and out so frequently. And this time usually the play we do with Adrian Anderson, it goes to Travion Young. And he does the exact same thing, gets the first down. Now Thompson back in this game. A throw here, that one to Delshawn McClellan. And McClellan gets it to six yards. Now third and one. Adrian Anderson this time gets it on the power play. And he gets it. Solid game of four. And another first down. Thompson back to throw. He's looking for a man. Way back in the pocket. That one's tipped. Tipped again. Nearly caught that time. Oh, that one dripped all the way around the place. Now Thompson. Back to throw again. Second and ten. This time he throws. And he's got Dominique Hatfield. He's got the recession pickup of 18. So now 30 to nothing is our score. Dravion Young here on second and four. And he gets absolutely lit up. This Stanford defense not holding back. Now Thompson dropping back to throw. He's looking for a man. He does throw. And that one nearly intercepted that time by Brandon Simmons. But we will just take the field goal and take our three points. So it's three to three now. And this one, Christian McCaffrey, again, right up the middle. He's got six on the play. Now second and four for the Cardinal. Chris gives it to McCaffrey. There goes McCaffrey, and he breaks a little bit free, this time getting 14. Now Chris all by himself back there. He's looking, and he's going to throw that one. He's got Hooper and another one of those big tight ends they've got. They've got a whole lot of them. That's what I've noticed. So now here we go again. It's Chris this time to McCaffrey. McCaffrey gets the yard that they need. And they haven't really ran it with anyone else yet. Now Chris back to throw, ending here, the end near the first. And Schultz gets the reception, and he's got the first down. Now about 10 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Chris back to throw. Over the middle, he's got it to Bryant. Bryant breaks a tackle, breaks another one, and that one is into the end zone. Cameron Bryant breaking two tackles and hustling his way all the way into the end zone. So Stanford, after that play, would take the 10-3 lead as we end this first quarter. This defense is not looking as good for Utah. The offense looks pretty good on its last drive. Couldn't cash in, but it's okay. Now 10-3, Kendall Thompson. He'll fake it to Dravion Young. He looks, he throws, and he's got this one to Harrison Hanley, who makes the reception on the sideline. So now coming up from about the 32-yard line, and this one will be flipped. This time Adrian Anderson, and he's going to try to power his way through, and he does pick up of 9. 
Second and one now coming up. This time a handoff right to Adrian Anderson again. And he bulldozes his way through across the 50 near the 45-yard line. First and 10 coming up for the Utes. Fake that time from Thompson. Thompson to his left. He's looking. And no one's open. And he cause he gets sacked on the play. Took too much time. And he's actually injured on the play. So now Manning back to throw. This time he throws. And he gets that one to Delshawn McClellan. Great throw that time. Now Manning again. This time he fakes it. Manning looking, throwing. This one he's got to Delshawn McClellan again. And pick up 11. Kendall Thompson. It's yet know the reports of what happened to him. Dravion Young will get the pitch. Hopefully we'll get the reports a little bit later in this game. So now here we go again. Manning back to throw. He's looking. He's been good on this drive. And he gets another completion. Make it 3 for 3 on the drive. Now Manning third and 12. Looking. Nice little touch pass right into the hands of Raylan Singleton. And what a great pass that time as Manning doing what he does. So now it's Stanford will take over. McCaffrey doing what they do. And he's got it right up the middle. Third down coming up here for Stanford. Chris back to throw. He'll throw this time to Bryant. Bryant's got the reception. And he'll get the first down. Now Chris back to throw. He throws it over the middle. And that one to Williams. And he's a yard shy. So now another third down for Stanford. And again they go to McCaffrey. And he powers his way through a man. But then can't get past the second man. As McCaffrey using that strength. Now Chris back to throw. He throws over the middle. Splits to Bryant. And Bryant's got the first down. These guys are tough to bring down for Stanford. So now dropping back. It's Chris again. He's looking. He throws wide open. Man, that one a wusu. And he's got the 8-yard reception. And another first down. Chris now gives it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey's got some good blocking, and he's into the end zone. Christian McCaffrey, he gets the touchdown there, and Stanford makes this one 17-10. But some disappointing news here. Kendall Thompson is going to miss three weeks of this season with a pulled hamstring after getting sacked on the previous drive. So now here's Dravion Young here. About a minute to go here in the first half, and Dravion Young's got it, and... Well, we need some big plays. Manning dropping back to throw. He throws this time, but this one is intercepted this time by Tajuan Thomas. And now Stanford's got the ball with about 50 seconds to go. So now here's Chris dropping back to throw. And he throws that one deep. And he's got it. Porter got beat on the play all the way to the end zone. Oh, no. Francis Owusu beat him deep. And now Stanford has a two-touchdown lead going into the second half at least because uh, I, would I didn't want to risk even trying to throw another interception. Wesley Johnson didn't do much on his turn. In fact, got shoved down quite fiercely. So that's how this first half comes to an end. Depressing. Turnovers are real for this Utah team. Stanford taking advantage of them. As we look here, we're definitely controlling what we do. Time and possession. That's what Stanford likes to do. But they, they, they're passing the ball right now. And those two turnovers, two key interceptions that have both led to touchdowns. So maybe we got, we got to clean this up a little bit. Actually, one led to a field goal, the other led to a touchdown. But nonetheless, Stanford's got it here to start the second half. Chris over the middle to Williams. And Williams gets stopped after he picks up 12. So now here we go again. Stanford, Chris back to throw. He's looking. And he does throw. This one is to Marks. And Marks to the outside. He bursts through. Pickup of 16 there for Stanford. Chris now gives it to McCaffrey. And McCaffrey's been the power back today. He's been their lone horse. Typical guy for Stanford. They have a bunch of them. And they come every year. Chris now dropping back. And he dumps this on off to Francis Owusu. And Owusu pick up a four. Now Chris back to throw again over the middle. This one's caught by Bryant. Bryant to the outside. But he will just be chased down that time. Oof. Godfrey just... Barely got him. Now first and goal for Stanford. They give it to McCaffrey. And McCaffrey bunges his way into the end zone. Bunges? I'm not sure if that's a good adjective. Hey, but it works. Nonetheless, Stanford's got 31 points. And we only have 10. Manning now dropping back to throw. He's looking. He's throwing. And a good throw at time to Dominique Hatfield. Good thing it's not an interception. Because we definitely don't need another one of those. Now fake that time. Manning. He's trying to scramble. He throws this time. And that one's picked again by Thomas. Thomas the other way, and he could go. He's got that speed, and he's all the way to the end zone. Pick six. Wow. What an absolute change in momentum 
Now this game is 38 to 10, and it's been completely taken out of this Utah team. So now Hatfield's back to return instead of Johnson, and he got some good blocks. And look at Hatfield doing what Johnson does best and returning the kick all the way to the end zone. And just like that, that momentum switches right back to the side of Utah. And a big stop there, making it third and 11 from this defense. Third and 11 now for Stanford. Dropping back, it's Christ. He's over the middle. Bryant's got it, and he gets the first down. How big of a stop that would have been, but it couldn't be. Now Chris back to throw. He's looking over the middle. He's got Bryant again, who breaks another tackle. He gets that one about to the 35-yard line. Now dropping back to throw. It's Chris, and quickly that time to Williams. Williams makes the reception and near the center of the field. So now Stanford making another good drive here. McCaffrey again gets it, and this time he gets pummeled, but he still picks up two on the play. Third and seven now for Stanford. Dropping back, it's Christ. He's looking, dumping it off this time to Francis Owusu. He gets popped on the play, and he's forced to drop that ball. And Stanford here will take the field goal, making it 41-17. to Their lead still holds. So now Manning hands this one off to Dravion Young. Young's got some blocking. He's got some speed to the outside. Gets it across the 45, 23-yard pickup. Manning faking it to Young. And this time, he gets sacked on the play. Wow, Corey Gibson getting in there quick and Manning going down fast. 30 seconds now, Manning, oh, he had a man. He had a man open across the middle of the field, but he just missed him. Third and 18 now, Manning back to throw again. Heaving one deep, and Wesley Johnson can't make the play. So we're forced to punt this ball back to Stanford. 10 seconds now, Chris looking for a man, dumps it off this time, and that one is caught that time, I think, by Hollis. And uh, they've got it. Nonetheless, that's how this third quarter ends. Oh, boy, this one just gets worse and worse. 41-17. to We're going to have to make a catastrophic comeback to try and beat this Stanford team the way they're playing right now. So now here we go. Stanford, they give it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey gets tackled, but he still gets the first down. Now another one. Second and 10 now for Chris. He's looking. Throws this time. He's got a man. Ooh, Dalton Schultz. Luckily, he went out of bounds. Now, Chris, this time, McCaffrey. McCaffrey tries to run right up the middle, and he's not going anywhere. So this defense trying to hold for us once again. McCaffrey gets it, and this time he is stopped. So another field goal trial will be coming up for Stanford after the stop there. This defense has held them to a lot of field goals, but our offense has just not been clicking. I don't know what it is about Kendall Thompson. He doesn't throw the ball much, but boy, does he keep this offense moving. A great leader for this team. It sucks that he's out for three weeks. Now Manning dropping back to throw. Trying to do what he best can and throw the ball. And that one's dropped there by Delshawn McClelland over the middle. So now Manning dropping back to throw once again over the middle. And this one's cut. Matt Anderson on the reception, but a flag on the play. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So after the face mask, Utah's got a chance here. Dravion Young to the outside, good blocking, and a good run that time. He gets him into the red zone. So now about five minutes to go. Manning back to throw. He's looking on first down. He that one. Wesley Johnson, he's got the athleticism, but not the best hands. He drops that one there. Second and ten now. Manning back to throw again. Pressure comes, and he is sacked on the play. Manning goes down for the second time on this. Ugh. Manning now dropping back to throw again. Pressure comes. Heaves it up. Nearly intercepted that time by Luke Baker. So now 4th and 20 coming up. Manning's got to make a big play. Dropping back to throw. He's looking. And he will be taken down. And it's a turnover on downs. And that's when I called it quits on the starting lineups. And uh, first team, they're gone. Second team, offense and defense will come to the field. So this second team Utah defense trying to stop first team Stanford offense. And this Stanford team, uh, they've probably got the win. I've given up on this game. And uh, it, was a bad, it was a bad loss, I'll say that. Uh, Six-yard rush there by McCaffrey. He's definitely taken over this game. Kind of did what Barry Sanders did way back. And now McCaffrey again. That one he lost three. But third and 15 coming up again. This time, Chris gives it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey, he's got space. As we tried to stop him on 3rd and 15, and he got way into the open. And Christian McCaffrey, oh boy, he scores again. And Stanford spots a 50 on this defense. 
Now Manning dropping back to throw. He's looking for a man. He heaves it deep. He's got one. And that one's Dominique Hatfield. So a little bit of life, I guess. And this definitely over game. One second left. Manning to the end zone. And that one is tipped away. And Utah. Oh, boy, was that a bad game. Kendall Thompson out for three weeks. Boy, Christian McCaffrey ran all over this defense. 28 carries, 152 yards, and three touchdowns. Ah, oh. as uh, our running game didn't do half bad. I mean, Adrian Anderson and uh, Dravion Young, they both combined for over another 150 yards, so they keep doing that, and I think we have a good shot of winning some games, but this offense definitely didn't do much. But it was definitely the defense that struggled here today, and the turnovers, I mean, the pick six there, that was really a momentum shifter. I think after that play... This game kind of just took a turn for the worst. And uh, that, was, that was kind of the point where I thought, oh boy, this one might be too big to overcome. We were down four touchdowns at that point. But, you know, I didn't give up. We got a good kickoff return that time by Dominic Hatfield. Well, I don't know where Wesley Johnson was on the play. I think he was maybe hurt or something. But nonetheless, we come away with a bad loss to the good Stanford team. Oh, great, good Stanford team, but bad loss. I don't know how good this team actually is because I don't know how good Baylor is. I don't know how good Fresno State is. I don't know how good Cal is. So we came up with some close wins in all of those games. And then Stanford comes out and just obliterates us in their home field. And I don't know, look just like Barry Sanders just a couple years ago. So if you guys did like the video, I don't know how you did. But like it if you want to support the series. Subscribe for new content. And uh, have a great day, you guys. We'll see you against USC. Bye.